So I downloaded base map materials from OpenStreetMap and from the National Map Viewer, and now I'm going to bring that data into Open Orienteering Mapper, and uh, that'll be the first step before I start actually beginning to map. So in Open Orienteering Mapper, I want to create a new map. I pick the scale. This is a very small area, so we're going to leave the scale at one to four thousand, and we'll use the. Um, it then selects the. Um, ISSOM scale 1 to 4,000 symbols. Those are the sprint orienteering map symbols. So I create, and what it's done now is it's created a map file. I can begin to draw, but I want to start by importing the data that we downloaded from OpenStreetMap. So we'll begin by doing the import link, and you recall this was the file map03 map3.osm open that and now it gives us an option of opening it as geo-referenced or non-geo-referenced we want to open it as geo-referenced and um, that's one of the really nice uh, features of um, OpenStreetMap data and Open Orienteering Mapper and it brings up this dialog box that has a lot of a lot of options the first thing we need to do, uh, and really the main thing we need to do, is select the reference system, the coordinate reference system. This is UTM data. When you do that, it fills in and, and fills in this data here. Um, another nice feature is that right now the data is oriented to uh, true north. We can orient it to uh, magnetic north. And there's a very simple way to do that. You go down here and just click look up. It goes to a, uh, a page that has uh, magnetic declination for the area that we're using. Click yes and it puts in place that um, that declination. So that's already done for you. It's very nice. Now click OK and it brings the data in. And what you can see from this, the data it's imported, uh, you probably can recognize the general um, outline. We've got the ball diamonds, we've got a, some houses. Um, this data is just lines and uh, we'll do more with that later but the next thing we want to do is put in the aerial photo as a template so you go to the template option you select open template um, this was the file that I downloaded um, from the national map viewer it has this awkward name um, we'll just leave that name though and open that now it brings up a, a questions here of if you want to bring it in geo-referenced or other options we want to bring it in geo-referenced and it is geo-referenced what that is going to do is it's going to put it right in the correct spot so we just click OK we want to bring it in in the coordinate system that's the same as the maps click OK again and there it is now you can see that we've got both the the lines here which are a little hard to see but those are the lines from the open street map and the map itself the photo has popped into the right spot so this will be the base map that we use for doing further mapping you want to save it and give it a name um, and then we'll begin to do some drawing